Stephanie Briggs and welcome to Sun Suburbs Today. This webcast brings you the latest news and happenings for the Northwest Metro each day. The Osseo Area Retired Education Scholarship Breakfast is 6 to 9 a.m. Friday, December 4th, tomorrow, at Osseo Senior High School. For the last several years, community members, district staff members, and retirees have come together to raise scholarship money for the district's high school graduating seniors. Tickets cost $8 each, and the event is open to the public. The Assisted Care Facility Prairie Lodge at Earl Brown in Brooklyn Center has been cited by the state for failing to keep a resident safe from physical injury. The Minnesota Department of Health issued a report November 23rd after its investigation into incidences that allegedly occurred in April in which allegedly a male resident physically abused a female resident at the facility two times within an eight-day period. For more on this, visit MNSUN.com. In this first of a two-part video series, Brooklyn Park Economic and Redevelopment Director Jason Arsvald shares the city's three-part approach for preventing, rehabilitating, and reselling its foreclosed homes. Let's take a look. With around 900 foreclosed homes in Brooklyn Park, the city has partnered with several businesses to recover, rehabilitate, and resell them. Showcasing these homes at a number of open houses on November 23rd, people were able to see the changes. The city, in general, has an, an entire plan to deal with foreclosed properties, and it involves three things. It involves preventing more foreclosures from happening in the first place. It also involves making sure that the properties that end up foreclosed are secured, maintained, and don't, you know, have f further damage and that loss of value. And then the third part of it is the recovery part or the actual rehab part, which is what this is. And so, you know, this is just one part of a three-part strategy that we have to deal with the whole foreclosure issue. Well, we begin planning for this um, for this particular initiative, this part, this phase of our foreclosure recovery plan in late 2008. So now we've got about 25 homes that are in various stages of either acquisition, rehabilitation, or resale. We were looking for somebody, you know, at the end of 2008 to partner with in order to undertake some of these projects, and we had a hard time finding anybody that was willing to undertake this and wanting to get involved in it at the time. But we did find, we had some criteria that we set out. We wanted somebody that was, you know, had a proven track record uh, in the industry, had the capacity and the qualifications to undertake a project like this, was going to bring some financing of their own to the project, and had the desire and capability to partner with the city. You know, one of the things we did is we looked at some of our existing funding sources, and the home we're standing in was actually financed with money that we got from Minnesota Housing Finance Agency. And then uh, we also got stimulus dollars, neighborhood stabilization program, it's called. So we wanted to make sure we had these open houses so that we could be out in the community and so that everyone understood what we were doing in these neighborhoods. Because I think a lot of times people see things happening, but they don't exactly know what it is. And so what we wanted to do is invite people in, show them the kind of work that's being done in their neighborhoods and in the community. Could to really any home of this age, uh, you never stop working. For Sun Newspapers, I'm Stephanie Briggs. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow.